Welcome back, everyone, to the Cat Lady. Where the last episode we uh we didn't really get too far. We're trying to figure out how to get some supplies here. Like for instance, we just got a key, which I'm gonna actually just quickly check to see spare key examine. Okay, so that's that that is the car key that we're looking for because we need ice. Because a couple episodes ago, when we when we first met up with the pest control guy, he had a gas mask, and I'm pretty sure what we're doing right now is. We're, we're building up a concoction to kill these guys with the same way that Jack, uh, Mitzi's boyfriend, uh, is killed himself. So what a, what a horrible stench. But what's this? It seems the idiot does everything. His creepy wifey from hell tells him to. He brought the gas mask here. I'll take it. He won't need it ever again when I'm done here. Now, are we able to... Okay. What the heck? I don't get it. It's not locked. Go on the back. Really? Huh. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Well, can we use the cloth on- Yeah, we can use the cloth on it! Nice! Do we still have the cloth, though? There we go. We'll use the cloth on that. Perfect. Now we got two hot light bulbs sitting in our pocket. Apparently, it's not too hot for a pocket, but it's a little too hot for our bare hands. Or wherever we're putting all this, these items at. Okay, so now we got the light bulb. We're gonna use the light bulb here. Got that turned on. Perfect. And then we will, that's not what I meant to do. Not switch on. We're gonna use the second light bulb here. There we go. Examine, so we got a phone, an old phone. It looks like it's still working. There's a sticker with the number on the base, 0139227392. So let's try this. It's pointless. It must be this phone's number. Okay, so we need to figure out how to get that cell phone. Can we use it to call Mitzi? Oh no. No, no, no. Damn it. All right, my, my phone. phone number. Well, not, not only that, it's just it not even somewhere at it's home, not even working. But I hardly ever use it. What about the police? Huh? You call the police? But then that kind of ruins the whole idea why we're here. Police emergency line. How can I help you? <laughs> My name is Susan Ashworth. How can I help I've you? I've been kidnapped. These people are crazy. Shh. They're going to eat me Tone alive. It down! I don't know what to do. Please, you've got to help me. Please. What's your home address and postcode, ma'am? What? It's irrelevant. I've been kidnapped. I'm not there. I'm afraid I need your home address to confirm your identity, Miss Ashworth. It's flat 412 Helen Street, EX4422DL. Okay? Now please, do something. For God's sake. Calm down, Mom. Who's kidnapped you? I don't know who they are. They didn't tell me their names. This guy, I'm no, serious. Wait, he's an animal control guy. Drives a white van. He's got a wife. She poured bleach down my face. Bitch. They're... They're just mad. Won't stop at nothing. I'd run away, but there's this fog, and I have no idea where we are. You have been kidnapped by a married couple, is that correct? <laughs> this guy does not sound serious no, whatsoever. not just any married couple. Don't you understand what I'm saying? These people are fucking serial killers. 
there's blood and bones everywhere. I mean, some of it is cat's blood, but there's human blood too. I told you, they eat stray cats and dogs, and they eat people. <laughs> They're sick. They make me sick. Is this a case of family disturbance, Mark? Who the fuck is on the other line? No. Did you know this married couple prior to the- I fucking said I don't know who these guys are. are. Related. Jesus, did I say anything at all that would make you think that? Calm down, please. I'm only trying to help you, Mom. I just want to punch this guy seriously. Establish some facts first before a police car can be dispatched. Look, just track this number and you'll find where I am. You can do that, yeah? They always do it on films. I bet you've got my number displayed on the screen already. Just do me a favor and send the police car, will you? Of course, Mom. Stay on the line. <laughs> Oh, did you witness cruelty to animals? Oh my what? god, this guy! Cat's blood. Was this married couple cruel to animals? If so, I will put you through to animal welfare services for this area. Would you prefer that, Mom? Fuck Are you! you no, I would not. Okay, please hold the line. Hello? Miss Ashworth, uh, are you still there? Yes, of course I'm still here. According to our records, you've recently discharged yourself from the hospital. I knew this would come up. Are I knew it. Currently undergoing treatment for any mental health. Dude, this problems? this is just useless. No, it's not like that. I could talk to a friggin' wet carrot and it would provide me with more information this asshole. I can connect you with the on-duty doctor at the RCW Hospital's mental health unit where you received care recently. They can help you. You just have to talk to them and explain what's on your mind. I'm not fucking crazy. So, I, that's I it. can't believe this. You're just not going to help me. We are not qualified to provide psychiatric this is, help. I'm not looking for psychiatric it's help. If you contact your doctors, would you like me to give you their number in case you'd prefer to call them yourself? Oh my god. Oh, don't bother. I'll take care of it myself. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. That entire fucking scenario just pissed me right the fuck off. That was so goddamn stupid. Examine those books. The books look like they haven't been touched for a long time. Maybe they've been left here by the previous owners. What's that? An old phone book? That could be useful, but I'm not sure whose number to look for. It's not like I have any friends that I could call for help. It's from 10 years ago. Still, I don't know what to look for. My number's here. I better memorize it. It might come in handy. Okay, so now we know our phone number, but like I said, I don't think it's gonna work because we haven't paid our phone bill in a while. Let's see if it actually works. Whoa, it does! Come on, Mitzi. Answer the phone. Hello? Oh, thank God. Finally. Mitzi, it's me. I need your help. What's happened? Where are you, Miss Ashworth? <laughs> I've been kidnapped by some psychopaths. What? How did that happen? You In the night of a fog. Cats. Look, it doesn't matter. I'll explain everything later. These people are maniacs. They're killers. It's either me or them. I have no choice. I found some bleach. It reminded me of this gas you were talking about. I could get rid of one of them with that gas and get a hold of a gun. You said it was fairly easy. What's the second? Ashworth, no, you can't. What's Listen to ah. me. This guy is a fucking murderer. He's nothing but a parasite. parasite. No one will miss him. Trust me. The police won't be coming to rescue me. And I could really do with a gun here, you know? I... But Please, Mitzi! I'm begging you! What's the other chemical, Mitzi? Tell me! Now! 
Okay, fine, I'll tell you. It's no rocket science. You just need some pesticide. Pesticide? Some pesticide. Didn't you say it is something everyone's got at home? Well, Under the sink. Use it. You live in a flat high above the ground. It's for people who own houses. Or like mansions. What? You can really? pick up these things at any supermarket anyway. Fine. What do I do with it? Just mix bleach and the pesticide together. Make sure there isn't much ventilation. And wear some protection. A gas mask or something, yeah? Right. Bleach. Pesticide. Got it. And a gas mask. Got it? Yep. Thanks. So, with the draft in the room... Uh... Okay. The police Thanks. aren't going to do anything. I don't, I'm not even going to try with them anymore. Careful, Miss Ashworth. I'll be fine. I'm a tough old girl. This will be like a walk in the park. Okay, so... The thing that we got to look for now is pesticide. And I'm not entirely sure where we can find any. So we're going to go back into the kitchen, maybe? Is there anything that we could do under the sink? Examine. Hmm. Well, I mean, the, with pest control, you'd think the guy would have some pesticide, right? And not only that, she said that we need ventilation. Or we need to block ventilation. Idea. Hmm. Oh, the painting! The painting! The painting! Because we gotta block it off there, so that the, the gas does not escape. This should stop the draft of the cellar. Okay, so... Driver's side window. Hmm. So we need pesticide, and we don't have any. But I'm not entirely sure where we could find any. I'm gonna quickly go back into the cellar and see if there is anything that we can use down here. Hmm. Any pesticide in here? No. There's a birdcage though. Uh, what about the jar, or the pails in here? Sneak in. Examine, it's an empty bucket. I don't want to poison myself. I better get some protection first. Where? Okay. So there's part one. Now we need to find pesticide. Hmm. I honestly don't know where the, these guys would hide pesticide, and we can't go up, can we? No. Because it's just fucking bedrooms, mate. Usually pesticide's kept under the sinks, but this one doesn't seem to have a, anything like a little cabinet underneath the sink there. Is there any pesticide in here? No. Hmm. See, this pest control services. Oh no, peek in. That's pesticide right there. Right there. Oh god, how do we get it though? Like right right behind her, that's what it is. Uh Huh. There's nothing we can use here, is there? No. I gotta figure out a way to... Okay, let's just... Li let's leave. Let's leave. The only way I can think of it is... There's nothing in this one anymore. So there's no reason for us to look at the bathtub where the dead person is. Uh, the only thing I can think of at this point is setting the clock. But... I don't think there is a way for us to do that now, is there? I'm not looking for a fucking... The radio, maybe? Huh. 
<laughs> no time for sitting down. It's not going to work. It's pointless. It must be this phone's number. I was gonna tell. I was, I, I was hoping that we could call Mitzi back again and be like, call here in five minutes. That's not gonna work. I'll be right back because I, I need to figure out what the heck to do. I'm gonna go try using this knife on this van, but I highly doubt it's gonna work. So, regardless of what happens, I'm recording and I'll find out what the hell to do. Apparently using this knife on this brick works. I have no idea of how that happened. <laughs> so let's go right here. I wonder if this is going to work. There we go. So now we can reach inside, grab the cell phone. Take the mobile phone. All right, so we got the mobile phone now. Uh, let's now see if we can hide under the table. Give that fucking freaky lady a call. And then go grab the pesticide. <gasps> what the shit? What? I don't even know. Can we... Are we gonna get stabbed again here? Fuck, of course. Why is she all of a sudden out here? I... what? Okay, so somehow... I don't even know what's going on anymore. But somehow... Oh god. Somehow this is working. I don't know, like, I was just walking around and literally she walked out from the kitchen to the living room and now I can make my way over here? I don't give a fuck. This, this episode's gonna be going on until I kill these guys here. So let's quickly go in. We're gonna quickly grab this pesticide here. Right here, take. Is there anything else in here that I gotta quickly grab? Doesn't look like it. Oh god, I, I, my, my friggin' leg is shaking, which is like... How freaked out I am. And if I get killed here, there we go. I'm gonna get killed anyways, so... 
Doesn't matter this time. Hack me up all you want. I still got my pesticide. And that's all that matters. And soon, Ugly Betty, you are going to be cooking. Well, not really. I mean, you're going to be dead. I was trying to make up, like, some cooking pun, but let's just... Let's, let's be honest. She's just going to take a bullet to the face. Okay, so we wear this. And now... Now we can use the pesticide. Not here? What about here? There we go. <laughs> oh, you evil pig! Oh, shit! Okay. <laughs> oh. Where are you, Betty? The police won't help me, so I take business into my own hands. Oh, Betty, Betty, Betty. Where are you? I'm sick and tired of getting hacked up by your fucking butcher knife. So here we go. Whoa! Maybe she's answered the phone call? <laughs> Whoa! Shit! Oh, here we go. Bam! That's three parasites out of five, if I'm not mistaken. Do you know where I've been? For the broken machine. <laughs> oh, that felt so good to finally get rid of those two assholes, especially after we called the police and they weren't even able to help us at all. Like, come on, what is that? Anyways, guys, that's gonna conclude today's episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to let me know what you guys thought down below, and I shall talk with you guys in the next episode. Peace out, Girl Scouts.